Hello and welcome to another episode of Sandy Killer Projects. In this episode, we're going to set off the airbag in this car. Why? Because I wanted to see if it's possible to be able to set it off just by hitting it. So the very first thing that we have to do is we have to simulate that this car is getting into a front-end vehicle accident, trying to get the airbag to go off. So I got something heavy enough to see if that's going to work, so let's give it a shot. Well, it made glass fall off of the back broken window. All right, so there's a pretty simple reason why that didn't work. Um, you need power going to the airbag for it to go off. So let's fire it up. All right, so the car is running. Um, this should cause it to set off now, right? No airbag explosion. So um, this is not quite what's needed to set off the airbag yet. And I'll explain why. Okay, so what's actually needed to set off the front impact airbag on any kind of car um, is the car to be powered on in drive and moving between five and eight miles an hour. And that's a standard set by the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration. The reason why is because um, airbags are dangerous and to have them to just go off willy nilly because you bump something or because somebody bumped into you, that's really dangerous. So um, the standard has been set this way based on the belief that between five and eight miles an hour, if you weren't wearing a seatbelt and had the window down, you could potentially be ejected from the vehicle. They took that number and then decided that's the point where the airbag should be uh, set to go off. All right, so we still have the same problem that we started with. Airbag has not gone off, you make the airbag go off. So this is a little bit more complicated. First thing we gotta do is disconnect the battery. One of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up this 10 millimeter right here. Then we're gonna lift the positive cable off of the battery to discharge the electrical power that's being held inside the capacitors um, of the airbag. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dry cycle the ignition a couple of times to release any potential energy in a capacitor. And then we're gonna let it set for 10, 15 minutes with the battery disconnected. All right, so as you can see, I have the airbag off and out. Um, they're actually really simple to remove. There's a little hole in the side right in here that's a circle. And you take something around like a small uh, three millimeter uh, Allen and you push in on the inside. And what that does is it grabs this metal bar on, on the center here, and that releases one of the prongs. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Some of these Chevy ones have a third one down on the bottom. Uh, this is a smaller one, it doesn't. Um, but as you can see, that's what the airbag looks like from the back side. It has these two little plugs that go into the back of it. Uh, one of them is a yellow one, and one is a green one on the spark. They're different colors depending on uh, which model car you have, and it has a lot to do with like the plug orientation and how the inside of the plug is set up. Okay, so this is by far one of the most sketchy things I've ever done for the YouTube channel, um, but uh, watch closely the square on the ground. Three, two, one. <laughs> I think I probably should have had a wider shot. Um, it went up over the tree. You know, I thought the close-up shot of this going off would have been really cool, but apparently the far away shot would have been really cool because this is the other side of the cars. Um, this is where the airbag started over here, uh, sitting on the ground, roughly there. It jumped up over the top of the tree, over the cars, and came down right here and is still blowing dust out of it because it exploded instantaneously. That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Okay, a couple of interesting features. Um, car still starts and runs with no airbag in it. Okay, so the other one is I want to put the airbag in for the thumbnail shot and um, the back of the, the airbag is incredibly, incredibly hot. It's so hot, it's actually melting the little plastic connector to the back of it and everything in the back of it is just melted and hot and you can't touch any of that right now all right so that's going to do it for this episode of sandy killer projects as always thank you for watching please make sure to like share and subscribe we'll keep making more content